welcome back. This is part five. This is just for me to know uh, what number I'm on and what I'm supposed to be doing. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far and let's just read what I got just got. Uh, inside Dun Dunstan's, we sat here, I remember we sat in our, in our black and we mourned and we prayed and we bowed our heads. I how I hated God then. How I spurned him if this is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife, then I refute his embrace. Uh, hold on. I've messed up on setting something up before then. Uh, this would not take anything longer than a second, so bear with me as I figure out that I should have done this beforehand, but I didn't, so, there we go, and we were done, see, easy as pie, anyways, mm. I will carve a new god for us all, such madness, such a fool I was, it, if such blasphemous ravings had remained within me, I would be doomed, but even here, I feel the machine throb beneath the flags, and I know my path awaits me. I don't like this place. Gives me the creeps. I don't like those voices. I don't like how it's giving me multiple ways to go. Twin candles bent to the will of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all the others. So the old priest has gone to holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. As shepherd, indeed. It's spooky. Ah, uh, the Bibla. Biblia. Scrios. At least there's no more drinks. Can I get out the door? I'll go this way since the stave is already open. It's over here. Another one of these. Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity. One of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog. Spitting back awful at mankind. Hmm. Alright then. Let's go this way. Okay. Is this where I'll meet? What you got for me? You got me a spook, I know you do. Building this. I'm gonna stop right when I get over here. It's the pig god. What is this situation with pigs? Like, why a pig for a god? Is that just to call this god a uh, pig? Is that what I'm trying to get at? It certainly is creepy. Give him that. So it's gonna go back. Some kind of mechanism, man. A secret and infernal one, no doubt. This missing candlestick is clearly the answer, but why this I cannot fathom. Why hide secret machines in a place of prayer? And where are the, are the faithful? Why are there drag marks around? Altar, as if someone has pu was pulled away. 
as if someone someone said something about someone they stopped playing that wonderful music so I need to find a candlestick is that what I'm getting at This will certainly be where a chase happens. It's too big of a room. It's too big. I swear. Oh, there's another one of these that's phased into the bench or the pew. The pew pew. Is it in here? Something is in here. Hmm. I hear it. Too quiet, but I think I'm fine right now. There is no sound to be heard. Let's just hurry this up. Push bloink. Shee. And it should. What did that do? Oh, it turned on this. The engine fires, the flames are stoked. I hear them, I hear steam in the walls, vibrations upon the very air. My heart falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of this dark contraption, but my children beckon me and I cannot fail them. I don't see why you need to do this, dude. Let's go down. It appears I have no choice, thus I descend and may God have mercy upon my soul. If this is my bedlam and I am to be cast as Matthews, then I will wear the mantle for the sake of my boys and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. It's very steampunk-esque kind of a uh, chapel here. So it appears I am now stuck down here with a monster. A pig monster, no less. Listen, Papa, hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. I think you're thinking of a conch shell. <laughs> Sticker sticker. It's a pig monster. Anything from where it came from? So dark. I don't wanna... Most likely this is not a chase area just yet. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, I don't really know. But I am... Almost pretty much sure that it's not because... This will be a very inconvenient place to run if need be.
Um, okay, then let's just move forward. Monster. Oh, monster, baby. Oh, I saw you. I saw you, cutie pie. wanted me to run into it there but I didn't I didn't do that ha I have bested it for now at least I don't know what bothers it yet so it could be light could be movement I don't really know What I do know is it tried to bait me. That was an active monster there. The throat. It's a nice trophy I earned. Alrighty. Are those potatoes? Uh, might be potatoes. The news. Some more stam. For what reason do you need that there? A lot of pigs dead here. Another pump station. It's empty though. Alright, let's just move on. Water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. I'm sorry, what is... Hmm... Let me just look around here. The atmosphere is safe here. Mandus Co. Meat Processing Factory. Oh, so that's what's too bony. The meat. And I guess we sell pig meat if I... <laughs> could safely assume. Alright. Let's see here. Anything of importance? This? These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government. They make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Hmm. 
So if someone's pretty prejudiced against the government. That's one thing I could gain from that. Whoa. Wonder how long it okay, he's back. Mr. Piggy Man is back. If I had to assume. Whenever the light flickers. Huh. Jump scares. And a flickery flick for the piggy man. Like I said. Don't like him. This is pretty funnel-esque. It's funneling me. I guess it's wanting me to go downstairs, but I don't really know if I should. What's upstairs? Nothing? This is a descent, so... What is over here? Any more spooky drawers that have dentist stuff? That was a pig. Each compartment is or ergonomatically. Uh, I don't even know what it says. Designed with a fe a feed trough at one end, so the product naturally settles into a position near the for the stunning arms to connect to the skull. We use the natural static charge built up by the friction of the cards against the belt to build an electrical charge. Oh gosh, sneeze. is about to happen upon me. <coughs> oh gosh dang. Which is contained within glass vacuum canisters. Uh, can this there's a lost my place for some reason at the sides of the stunning arm mechanisms and delivered along the stun arms via copper cabling we have observed that this artificial lighting contained within these canisters seem to calm the product further uh past stunning the line tilts sharply to the vertical the physics of which tips the stun product upwards to fall directly onto the hook of the bleeding line. This hook passes normally through the haunch or thigh of the product and from this point we, we dispense with the belt and instead instigate a channeled floor which creatures a funnel wait creates a funnel allowing blood and byproduct excretions in collect and run to the fluid collection tanks. So is that the so called uh Fuel. If I had to guess, oh, did not know this was here. I don't know if you should be banging down that phone then if you need to be careful. So there's a pig driving. So that's interesting. So I need to go down. Is that the roar of machinery or more more or less a roar of an enemy? Or a threat, more like. So it's obvious that this is gonna come rushing down. Too, so this is an area where I will need to be careful.
kind of know what I'm doing. Hmm. Stop. Fire your furnace. Hmm. So, I just fired up a furnace. One and two. They're both on fire. Let me read this. A series of collecting vents have been installed along the ceiling at this stage of the line. In the process of stunning and bleeding, the product often expels stinking vapors from its dis digestive system, which can be collected, condensed, and used in the methane boiler to drive the engine as a whole. In this way, the more product is processed, the more power becomes available to the machine and productivity is actually increased. A simple stroke of genius, but one that uh, encapsulates the benefits of self-regulatory automation. So it was like a never-ending cycle then. You'd have it power itself. I don't need to do anything with this. All right, then. So I think what I'm doing right now is the right thing to do. So if by theory I light all of these furnaces, I should be good, right? Don't like that sound. Oh, great. It's gotten darker, hasn't it? Behind this door. That one's on. My soul shudders at what I've seen, but at least I have cre reached the main part of the factory now onwards, downwards, to find those floodwaters and drain them away. Like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of the vital cradle. Uh, the pistons are silent. The plant is at rest. I must poke the hornet's nest to open my way. I fear the scale of these engines suggests a far greater works than is visible from the surface, so my friend must be correct, and the larger part of this place is underground. We are close to uh, the Thames. No wonder flooding is such a risk. And Kapuya. Nope. Um, Kapuya. Guess that didn't work. Man, someone's having a fun time over there. It's a fun time in the sun time. Will this work? 
over there. The fires are stoked. Assuming the same architect is responsible here as with the chemical plant, I surmise that a centralized control system regulates and operates the pistons. It should be a simple matter of finding it and hoping the saboteur relented uh, after simply extinguishing the fires. So... I don't think that was there before. Here, if there's anything going bad. I can't hear anything, so I may have to run. Likelihood of that is rising. Most likely just crawled right down through here. And it's not downstairs, so. Ah. <sighs> But that'll have to be in the next part. So I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys are enjoying us. As I am, we are finally getting into the spooky part. And I am no longer getting lost. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.